Hey guys, Miss Miller here. I am at the ICL or the Ice Cube Lab here at the South Pole. Let me show you what it's like here. So there is the Ice Cube Lab from the outside. For a little bit of perspective, over here that tiny building on the horizon right there, that's the South Pole Station, that's where we came from. And we were pretty lucky today. We didn't have to walk over, but we ended up taking a snowmobile. Right over here, you can see it's actually still running because if you turn it off, you wanna make sure it would start back up again. And these cold conditions, uh, that might not actually happen. So we just keep it running outside. Let's go on inside and see what we can find. Now it's pretty cold out here. It's about a wind chill of negative 33 degrees, about negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit out. And I'm only wearing part of my extreme cold weather gear, so I'm excited to go indoors. Okay, much warmer. So inside here, you walk in, you can see some areas for the extreme cold weather gear to hang them up now that we're inside. Our helmets from the snowmobile ride over. And over here, this is the water and the snack area. Just some munchies to keep us going. You may recognize this device. This is a DOM, Digital Optical Module. This is um, the cornerstone of the Ice Cube project. So those DOMs usually sit in the ice, and those are the ones detecting the light. This room right here is the work area. and a few more tables over here, working stations. You can see Kichi over here is moving some of our cables. Let's see what's over in the other room. So Kichi's moving those cables into the cargo area. Right now the team is working on unpacking all of the boxes since we just got here. Hi team. Hi. So this is the cargo area here. Let me take you guys upstairs. Up here is probably my favorite poster. With over 5,000 doms, they uh, had to come up with names for each one of them. So up here you'll see names like Lady Gaga, Goat, Blackberry. They had to get pretty creative with over 5,000 doms. This room right here, you can see that there's a bed in this room. This is just in case someone does get stuck out here, they would be able to spend the night pretty comfortably. Right across our next room here, this is where the magic happens. You can see several computer workstations here. I'm gonna take you into this very special room. This is where all of the servers are for the computers. But before I do so, I need to put a jacket on. These jackets are made out of a material um, that reduces the buildup of electric charge. That's very important because while you're in this room, you don't want to accidentally shock some of the electronics. That would be very bad for this experiment. So let me go ahead and put my jacket on. Okay, I have my jacket on. I'm not sure it's the most fashionable, but it does the job. So let's go into the server room. loud in here, but you can see there are just rows and rows, lots of computers. This is not your average laptop. Going to be very careful not to touch anything in here. This is the cable side of things. Now this room is temperature controlled. Just like your laptop might get hot after a while sitting in your lap, these computers also get very, very warm. So they need to make sure they don't overheat, which is kind of funny since after all, we're at the South Pole. Those cables even extend up to the ceiling. Every space is used. You can see those thick black cables up there. Those actually run all the way to the ice at the junctions where a whole bunch of strings of DOMs come together. 
So the information travels along those black cables. Right over here, it starts to split into the red cables and then goes to the computers. You'll also notice there are a lot of extra batteries over here. That's just in case something goes wrong in the winter and they need a backup power supply. Let me take you outside to the roof. It's a pretty incredible view. From up here, you can see really, really far. A lot of white, flat area. A lot of snow, a lot of ice. You'll notice that there are little flags sticking up. Some of those flags mark the trails to make sure that you get exactly where you are trying to go, either by snowmobile or foot. Over on this side, you'll see a few other experiments. I'll be blogging about those in, a, in some journals to come. You'll even see a map. This map outlines where the cables run so that they eventually all run back to this ice cube lab. The last space out here is this big blue box. Yes, we are outside, but this box acts as kind of an indoor-outdoor space. It can house antennas, which antennas are sometimes rated for cold weather, meaning, say, negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit out. But uh, in the winter, it gets much colder here. So this box will house some antennas, keep them warm through the winter. So, Miss Miller here at the Ice Cube Lab. I hope you enjoyed your tour. But it's time for me to go get to work. I think the team needs help unloading some of the cargo. So I'll see you guys later.